What's up? This is Truth and welcome to another game of Risk. Today we are playing round five of the Risk World Championships with Kid Miller, 41,000 Grandmaster, Zoran God, 13,000 Expert, Pop, 11,000 Expert, and Little Banana Juice, 17,000 Master. We had somebody to not show up to the game, so we are going to be playing with a bot. So for this round, we are playing on, we're playing on Reverse World, 70% domination, auto setup, 60 seconds, uh, expert AI, uh, and fixed cards. Alliances are on, so let's go send alliances to everybody. So this is a 70% fixed game. So this is probably gonna consist of just taking bonuses and then waiting for the per perfect opportunity to take 70% of the board. Not completely certain of what I'm gonna be taking yet, but I think it's gonna be either Central Arctic or Eastern Arctic. Hmm. Pacifica East is actually like really good. Okay. We'll see. Yeah, Pacifica East would be so good. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be getting anything this turn, I don't think. So I think we're just gonna do this. Attack here, and then fortify on portal. That way we can go and try to take this bonus. Turn two, we can just add all the six and then go bam, bam, and then hopefully get the, the bonus turn two. We will see. Ooh, little banana fortifies into green's bonus. Okay. There goes the bread bot. That's rough. It's gonna be pretty good to take this bonus because we can guard all these territories in here at a two point guard, which is really nice for the 70%. One right here and one right here. Okay. Blue's going, taking out the red bot from his bonus. All right, you're way there. Okay, does he go for it this turn? Does he do the 2v1? I think I would. No harm in it, really. I mean, you could lose one troop, but it's worth it to go for it. It's plus five, possibly. Yeah, I would have rolled it. Just for the chance. You know, if, if you don't get the roll, it's not detrimental. But if you do get it, it's really good. And it happens like one out of every three-ish times. So one, uh, one out of three times, you get five troops next turn. And... Two out of three times, you lose one troop, which averages out, I think. Yeah, it's a one troop net. Okay, that's interesting that green just started adding the central arctic. Because it seemed like they were going for Mediterranean. Okay. Let's just go and take our bonus. Not great dice. Mid dice, okay. And then... Do we need to worry about the bot breaking us? Yes, we do. So I think we just need to go on portal there. So that's a plus three. We're gonna try to go for another bonus. Maybe Pacifica East or Central Arctic. What is he saying oops about? Oh, okay. So orange got a plus seven, which is kind of scary. Atlantica. Plus seven so early is like really, really dangerous. Okay, red bot takes their bonus. Plus three in West Arctic. Okay, we're gonna try to take another bonus here. Um, green is getting greedy and going all the way over in Central Arctic, which I don't very, like very much. Please do not hit that. Because I wanted to take this bonus. Okay, yeah, he's asking me to move out. Hmm, so in that case, I guess I gotta go for Pacifica East, then. Rough. I'm only getting plus three, I need to get more. 
Maybe he wants to go over here. That could be the case. We're just gonna signal our intentions here. Go like this. Okay, and then we'll move right here. Oh shoot, but yellow might just take West Arctic for himself. Didn't think about that one. I, I kind of wanted green to do it so I could take this one, but... And blue also added in this bonus right here, which is also kind of annoying, because I can't just be holding a plus three and survive. Okay. Red bot is pretty weak. I'm gonna tell him I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. Heart. Let him move his four out. I'm pretty weak, dude. I'm pretty weak compared to like orange here. Could be bad. <laughs> pretty quick. I have a four set. <laughs> oh, man. Please move your four out. Yes, yes. There we go. Oh, he's destroying it. Interesting. Okay, I was expecting him to go like this. Hit, hit, and then fortify. That was really nice. That was a little bit too nice. <laughs> Interesting. So I could technically hold all, th all these two bonuses at a three-point guard. Here, here, and here. Which would be pretty crazy because of these blizzards. We're definitely going to trade in our four set just to keep people from trying to mess with us, I think. What's he worried about? Do you want to kill red or something? Is that it? Could I kill red? No. Because he's all the way down here. Do I trade in my four set? I don't think anybody tried. No, no, they might. They might. They might try to mess with me. So now we've got two bonuses for a total of plus eight, which is more than anybody else. The next strongest player is, is getting plus seven. So yellow should be killing red here for the bounty and the cards. Yeah. That is the correct move here. You get the troops back from the trade eventually, and you also get a bounty. This is a good move. So to take 70% of the board, we need 41 territories. Or not 41, 42. 42 territories to win. I'm a little bit worried about orange. I think you might just have a quick win here because of that early bonus. I just need to block up the board as much as I can. Okay, that's a nice portal. That's good. It's really good. Green takes this bonus now, I bet. Yep. Puts him up to plus seven. Yeah. I mean, yeah, well played to Green going for that. It forced me to change my plan. I wanted to take this bonus, but I guess Pacifica East is better. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, this is rough. He's already at 60 troops. He's double my troops right now. He's double Green's troops as well. He's double everybody's troops. Holy... He almost has lines on the win. Not yet, though. Pretty crazy. Yeah, he's lining up on the portal, too. Ooh, yikes. Okay. I just got card blocked. Mm. 
might have to hit the three. Clear card. I don't want to hit a seven. I'm sorry. Hopefully he doesn't get too mad. I meant to say I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. Okay. He's gonna move out of the way a bit. Okay. Yeah, the situation is dire. <laughs> With the orange player getting the plus seven turn two, so powerful. And then on top of that, we only got the the four trade. So we can still do something here, of course. Can still do something. The issue is this: this is like a massive smacking stack that could easily run the board. Like they'll just punch straight through my sixteen and take all of this. And then this whole side of the board is completely wide open. Nobody's even blocking it at all. So I'm just going to get slammed really hard. And then the board is open. I think orange might even have the win like this turn. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then he needs to go uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, uh, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Yeah. He's like right there. I think he needs to add all the 12. And he might just have the win right now. It's pretty bad. Okay. It doesn't look like he's going for it. I think he may have had it. I could be crazy. I mean, the 28, you gotta get good dice in the 16. Like, obviously, you can't get terrible dice. But, yeah, maybe he didn't have it. Maybe, yeah, maybe he didn't. He's so close, though. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, we're just gonna do this deal here. Leave the three and then stack like that. Okay, we get an eight trade. That's good. I mean, we're getting the largest bonus troops, but we're still behind. It's kind of wild. Yeah, I'm glad that they're blocking up a little bit more over there. I think I should have maybe did this. That way, I still have an open stack here. Mm-hmm. I think I should have done that. Oops. Yeah, that's an oversight, definitely. I should have at least made another position, maybe here or here. Shouldn't have hit this. Okay. I mean, the best I can do is guard this bonus here. I don't think it's smart to make up to three stacks with my limited troops. I kind of just got to hope that if somebody goes for it, they're not smacking into this bonus. So I can make like two large stacks, one here and one here. Man, this is rough. 75 troops. He's got so much troops, dude. Yep, going on portal, it's smart. Should we use our set? Probably not. I mean, what are the... We should. We should. And the reason why is because Orange is about to trade in, and he's gonna get a crap load of troops, and we need to stock up ourselves more here. Ugh, this is this is rough, dude. Um, I'm gonna have to be forced to block in my stack like this. Yeah, we're just gonna have to do this. I mean, at least we're guarding seven territories here. We're doing our job. If everybody guards seven territories, then nobody can win. Okay. 
Yeah, Blue's playing smart. Just keep going on the portal. Yeah, if Orange goes for it, he almost certainly is going through my my 20 sack, right? One of the two. This is a rough spot to be in. I would trade any position on this board for what Orange has right now. Yeah, 95 troops. Okay, he's got it now. He's definitely got it now. Right? He's gotta have it. He's thinking about it. He's gotta go like this. I think. It's hard to say, dude. I would have to count up everything he has just to make sure. Another artillery. We got five artillery in a row. Crazy. We need our 39 open. I'm hoping that this gets hit sometime. Maybe we forget this whole bonus guarding and we just move right here. That's like too dangerous though, isn't it? Because then it opens up this and then people can get basically every territory at no cost and my bonuses. That's the issue. That's why this was such a mistake to take a card here instead of making a position through another portal. I shouldn't have covered this up. I could do something where I force Little Banana to hit this territory for his card. That might be smart. See if I have the opportunity to, of course. As long as Blue takes his card here and not here. Come on, Blue. No. Ah. Uh. Okay, well, there goes that plan. <sighs> Not good. Yeah, and now the portals are in my bonus. I'm probably just gonna have to open up my stacks. I mean, I could just go on portal, but then everything's open. If I split into small stacks, then people can just smash through the stacks. It's just not great here. I'm, I'm generating the most, which is the funny part. I'm just still stuck in like the, the last place. I mean, not last place. We've got blue, of course, who's lingering behind all of us, but he's got about, he's about to trade in and everything. So this is, <sighs> we could hope orange goes for it and fails and then we get it. <laughs> okay. Oh, now I'm stuck where I have to hit three. I lost nothing on the three. You know, maybe we try this anyway. Now Little Banana has to hit the one for his card. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. There's a good, good chance that Orange just wins the game next turn anyway though. So I, not too much I can really do here. We need him to hit this one. What type of cards do we have? Another artillery, okay, six artillery in a row. I'm not complaining, artillery sets aren't bad. Oh, come on, he's getting my three anyway. Okay, that's annoying. I need to hit him to hit my one. He lost three troops just for a card. All right, can orange win? He's gonna go Boom, he's gonna go boom, take this portal, take this portal, boom. Yeah, Orange has the win right now. Orange does 100 million percent have the win. Yep, he has the win. Let's see if he goes for it. This is the win right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Yeah, he, he had the win. He just missed the win. He 100% had the win. Guaranteed. As long as he padded it right. Alright, so... What do we need to worry about? I think if we stack on this portal, it could be good. The issue is the portals are going to close next turn. Maybe I move the 25 out here. Maybe I should have done that last turn so Nana didn't hit it. Okay, and then... This. 
just to prevent anything from happening. That would be bad. Okay, banana trades in. And can he win? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think he actually might have the win here. He's gonna go with this. He's gonna go like this and take these. Also go like this. Alright, let's see if he goes for it. Nope, okay. I mean, yeah, I'm not 100%. His 24 being locked back here. Yeah, maybe he didn't. Um, need to do that. You need to do this. And then you could do this. And then pop, bust through the 30 and then take it all. I don't know. Maybe. That's what I had to say. I think I need to start actually... This move right here is like... Okay, it opens up my stack, but it's super annoying and that's... It keeps this 32 from doing anything. Alright, give me some good portals, please. Nope, those are terrible portals. <laughs> oh man, okay. So what do we do with this? We need to keep this stocked up. Maybe I'll also stack on this portal. Hmm. I'm gonna fortify like that. If orange runs it and fails, this is most likely going to be open for my 44 to go like that and go take the board. Then I've got the 27 also on a portal. Then I've got this, which can go like this and take these. So if orange runs it and fails, then I most likely win. But that that depends on him failing, which most likely won't happen if he is playing right, of course. Okay. Well, that's not open anymore because Little Banana Juice covered it up with this uh, 46. Maybe orange attacks here. Opens this up. Okay. What cards do we have? Okay, we got a dude and a horse. Hmm. Alright, orange. Go for it and fail. What is that? What the heck was that? What the heck is this guy thinking? Okay, Orange. I think he has the win. Yeah, Orange got the win right now. He needs to go for it and... Oh. He's killing Blue? Shoot. Shoot. Okay, he's going for the bounty points instead of the win. So then I go for the win now. Okay. I have the win. Oops. Uh, this can go... This. Wow, that was ridiculously uh, easy. I, I still had like 10 territories left to take, dude, <laughs> through the portal. Wow, okay. Interesting, so feeds the bounty and then dude goes for the bounty instead of the win, which is that worth more points? I don't think so. You get three points for the bounty and then you get one placement up, so that's five points more than what you were getting before. I won, which means I get 12 points for the win six averages out to eight so he got 11 points for that play which technically going for the 70 percent is worth more by one point but i guess it's safer to go for the, the bounty because it's way easier to do okay so starting off this round 12 points for winning which is kind of sad i wish 
I think what they need to do with 70% is up the points for how much players get for winning. Because usually winning is not paired with bounties. So maybe like making it 15 points for the win would be cool. Because going for the win there, it's like I up my points by by four. I up my points by four. Uh, we won the game with 67 points from the previous round. So that's going to put us up to 79, which right now is fourth place. 79 points is going to be fourth place for right now. Of course, not everybody has played their rounds yet. So we're going to probably be knocked down, but still like top 10. Uh, and then to move on to round six, you've got to be top 38. And yeah, we're definitely going to be top 38 from that round. So that's cool. And then uh, after after this round, we're going to have to be top 18, which I think we could do, right? We can do that. We're, we're already like fourth place right now. So I'm pretty sure a decent score could get me top 18 by round seven. So all we need to do is have one more decent game, I'm thinking, and we'll be on to semifinals. After semifinals, it's sync round elimination. So you got to win one of the two games played and then you'll move on to finals. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I will see you in round six of Dracon's Fortress next week.